The program, this is Kivumbi 2017. Let's go straight to that ban everyone has been talking about. And in just a few hours, the ban on non-biodegradable plastic bags will take effect as the Ministry of Environment seeks to implement its directive to phase them out. Kenya becomes the 11th country globally and the second in Africa to take action in support of the UN's environmental campaign. But as Caroline B. now reports, opinion on the ban remains as divided as ever. Endless piles of rubbish line Kibra's thin lanes. Heaps of plastic bags color this impoverished corner of Nairobi. <laughs> Residents go about their daily chores, unperturbed by the hazard in their sight. One rule is observed in this footpath. Avoid stepping on the plastic bags. They could be loads of human waste, commonly known as flying toilets. The readily available plastic bags have paved way for this situation. I don't see if it will really take effect. Because uh, even if you look at the Nema people, uh, the city councils, I don't think if the Nema people or the city councils knows about the informal settlements. The good thing is the smaller percentage, but to specific people to me, flying toilet, it a bit tricky. Because so it reduce expenses so that we can calculate your budget For close to three years now, Umande Trust, an NGO located in this slum, has been the champion of innovative solutions to address the persistent sanitation problem. Since its inception, flying toilets have declined in number. Those wishing to visit the toilet pay a fee of five shillings. And with a looming ban on plastic bags, could this be the end of flying toilets? To some, it isn't, it won't be realistic. Because, uh, unajua watu wengi uamini ya kwamba kuenda cho, especially in the, in the informal settlements, people, watu wengi hawajamini ya kwamba wata kuenda chukua cho mpaka alipa pesa. Wakitoa juala, ita, ita tupatia wateja wengi watakuwa kikuja hapa wale wenye wanatumia anga flying toilet wataja kutumia Kibra's market is a throb of activities women are hard at work packing food stuffs for sale in clear plastic bags come monday the plastic bags will be no more the government will make good its word of facing them out news that has pierced the hearts of these traders sasa ni kama nitafunga kasi juu si na njia yoyote yenye nitatumia Siwezi pimia mtu kwa mkono na mtu hawezi beba sufuria toke nayo kwa nyumba lete kwa barabara ni mpimie. Tujui tunatumia nini sababu wamesema watakuanzia kesho hawataki majuala. Sasa tunajiuliza kama wataki majuala. Hawa wanaume wanatoka kazi usiku. Watakuwa wanabeba mboga na namna gani? Once the ban is implemented, penalties set in for those found in possession of the plastic material. A fine of 4 million shillings or 2 months in prison. Sasa hiyo 4 million shillings ndio wakinishika na mimi hii business yangu haiwezi kutoa hiyo sababu kwa day peke yake na profit ni 100. Hiyo 4 million inaweza kutoa wapi? The Masai Mara has for years been a pride of the country, but plastic bags have left an ugly stain in the Mara's outstanding natural beauty, further affecting domestic animals that have coexisted with the wildlife for decades. Locals collect the carrier bags daily and the band they say will restore the park's lost glory. More than 80% of the waste here are actually from plastics. And we have suffered a lot as a result of the plastic being thrown everywhere around the ecosystem. So we've seen so many wildlife dying, we've seen many livestock dying as a result of that. So it's something that we've positively received and we will definitely also help the government in terms of enforcing that law. The ban of plastic Use of plastic is something that will help or will go a long way to ensure that uh, our dream or our objective as far as conservation is concerned is achieved. Be warned, in just a few hours' time, the ban will take effect countrywide. With the government rooting for the African-crafted kiondos, among other solutions, as alternatives to end the pollution. However, poor waste management and a mentality of littering could render the prospect of a plastic waste free society unrealistic. Caroline B., KTN News. Caroline.